Hey everyone, it's Danielle from NAC here, and today I wanted to show you how to automatically resize images in your app. So if you're using images in your app, there's a few reasons why this is important. First, it's nice to just make all of your images uniform. For example, here we are in our real estate listings app. This is one of our template apps you can find on our website. And here we have our images for our listings. They're just a bunch of different sizes, um, and that's fine, but it is nice to have all of your images be a consistent size. Second is storage. So if you, maybe you have a mobile workforce app, maybe you're monitoring employees that are out at job sites, having them upload pictures from the site. Maybe they're taking pictures of invoices or receipts for customers. And when they're uploading from their smartphone, that's going to produce a really large image. Um, and that can actually make a pretty big impact on the storage in your app. So resizing images is a great way to prevent that storage from being filled up pretty quickly. And lastly, it's performance. So when you have an app that has a lot of large images, especially if you're showing all of those images, maybe in a table or a list view on a single page, it could drastically slow down the time that it takes for that page to load. So having smaller images and resizing them as they're uploaded into your app can actually improve the performance when it, in, when it comes to loading pages in your app. Okay, so let's go over resizing these images. So first here we have our listings table showing our image, images that we just looked at. You can see there are a bunch of different sizes. So we wanna go over to the schema section of our app. We wanna find this image field so we can edit the settings. So let's click on schema. In this app, our images are stored in an images object. You can see our image field is right here. And here we have our image settings. Let's go down and we wanna select resize image. Okay, the first thing to note about resizing an image is it's going to resize all images. So any images that are currently in your app will be resized. And then any images that are uploaded to your app after this is enabled, those will also be resized. So just keep in mind that with this enabled, you're resizing all images associated with this field, whether they're already created in your app or whether they will be created in the future. And as far as resizing dimensions, there's two different options here. You can choose a web-friendly option. This is the default. What this means is NAC will automatically resize the image to a web-friendly size. Um, so for example, images that are really large, they might slow down a page when it's trying to load. So if you have a bunch of really large images, that might slow down a, a page in your app while you're loading it. So this will resize that image so that it's not too, too large, so it doesn't have as much of an impact in that way. Um, you can also do a custom size. So if you have a very specific size image that you want, you can change that to whatever custom size you want. So for this example, I'm just going to change this to um, let's do 600 by 600 just so we can see the difference. And then we'll save this in just a second. And before I go too far and save this, I do want to mention that there are thumbnails. These are a little bit different than resizing an image. So what thumbnails allow you to do is have different versions of the same image that are smaller that you can display in different areas of your app, but it doesn't actually resize the original image. Resizing the image will resize your original image field. But just be aware that if you need to show different sizes of your image throughout your app, you can do that with thumbnails here. Okay, so let's go ahead and update this field and resize the images. And then let's check it out in the live app once it has a chance to update. Okay, so you can see the image field that we resized has now resized these images to a smaller size. We set them to uh, 600 pixels by 600 pixels max. And you can see some of them are a little bit smaller, so these are probably smaller when they were uploaded, but for the most part, these images are all a uniform size. All right, well, that's it for today. Until next time, happy building.